This is just unbelievable. An Australian record rugby league crowd has gathered to see either Queensland shut down the series here in front of this great sporting crowd at this great sporting stadium, or will it be a case of New South Wales surviving and taking it to a tie break at Lang Park? Laurie Daly now led out by the managers, Bob Saunders and Jeff Carr. Eighth time he's captained the Blues, he's only 24. The Blues come from the famous dressing rooms and make that rather lonely walk out. We ride on the back of Glenn Lazarus and so too do a lot of the hopes of New South Wales. They're in the walkway and they're out there. And here they come, the magnificent Maroons, many of them very, very tired. But that word would not be in their dictionary tonight. Malmaninga, he equals the most origin appearances of Wally Lewis right here tonight. And listen to the crowd welcome the men from the Sunshine State. Graham Annesley is also a debutant. What a big moment for the young Sydney referee. His first. Dean Pace first, and there's the start. The Melbourne cricket ground, the crowd goes up, they wait for the first tackle, and there it is. First attack of the game. Stewart, a long pass out for Harrigan, who goes into the air to take it. Flicks it out the back for Paul McGregor. He angles for an opening, but it doesn't present. They're 12 metres from the Queensland line for Ben Elias. Gives it up for Dean Pay and the debutant player. One of them is tackled a few metres out from the line. They're stacking the left-hand side here in South Wales. Elias away, Lazarus! Lazarus gets the try! First of the game! First rugby league try on the Melbourne cricket ground. And a very well executed move from New South Wales involving Ben Elias and the big man Lazarus coming through. Very difficult to stop here. They tried to move the markers around. You see that the, the play of the ball man actually interferes with one of the Queensland players. It was Andrew G. And that meant that G couldn't get off the line, made the task easier for Lazarus coming through. There they are, the big sticks. Inviting Tim Brasher, and he puts it between the uplights. Close, aren't they? As Andrew G works across the back of the ruck for Gary Larson, Billy Moore, and then back. Larson was held. Not in possession. I thought it might have brought a penalty. Darren Fritz is tackled now. Six more, says referee Annesley. So a great opportunity for Queensland. Elias rates prematurely. In fact, he's got him for hanging, hanging all over the man playing the ball. Elias is not impressed. But Queensland, and now a scuffle up. Well, Karen Walters there, got very upset with Tim Brasher, who refused to give him the football. Now Julian takes his first kick at the MCG and misses it. It's back in the field of play. New South Wales able to save it. The half for Paul Harrigan and now for Rick Stewart. He lets a decoy runner go. The pass goes over the shoulder of Daly. Mullins gets rid of one. Sees an opening. Goes through it. Mullins. Mullins. Sensational run. Isn't he playing with some confidence for a man on his debut, Brett Mullins? Seven metres out from the line. Stewart, the long pass. Daly, Daly, Daly. Just a metre from the line. Ben Elias, across now, lofted pass. Takes a bit of the sting out of the attack. Brasher, taken by G and Fritz. Ben Elias on the last. Stewart steps around Carrot Walters. Gets the kick out wide. Eddinghausen kicks again into the end goal. And off the feet, I think, of Mark Coy. Well, a little bit of Australian rules there. Ricky Stewart kicking the ball to Andrew Eddinghausen, who did a great job there. It's on offer, and the dropout from Julian O'Neill reaches the 40-metre line. Sirenen! And a penalty! 22 out, right in front. He's got it! New South Wales leading 8-0 now. Ben Elias calls for a quick play the ball. The marker finishes on the seat of his pants. Fittler turns it in for Dean Pay. 
and the Canterbury player, the Canterbury captain, he's put away 11 metres from the line. Ben Elias on now for Brad Fettler. Puts on the step, then McGregor. McGregor gets the pass away. Came off a Queensland hand. Eddinghausen goes back, looking for the line. Annesley doesn't restart the tackle count. It must have been a blue hand that went up and not a Queenslander. Ben Elias now, long pass for Bradshaw. Bradshaw throws it back desperately. McGregor gets a one-hander in. Eddinghausen is there. Then it's gone across for Harrigan. The ball is loose. Mel Meninga was almost into vacant pasture. Well, there's got to be a stage where on the last tackle you've just got to surrender and, and let the ball die. As Langer is driven back by Laurie Daly. Well, they got themselves into plenty of strife there in New South Wales. Overconfidence almost. They haven't got one forward who can break the line. Fittler brushing Alan Langer away and then McGregor flick passes. Eddinghausen, down the line he goes. Hancock chases. O'Neill comes across. Eddinghausen wrapped up. Playing his 21st origin, Andrew Eddinghausen. A great run. Then across through Daly and Stewart. The chaser is Brasher. Taken, though, by Willie Kahn. Queensland play it. Meninga able to step away from Clyde's tackle. He's lost the ball. Mullins, Mullins gets the pass over for Harrigan. Harrigan, he loses the ball. Oh, great tackle. Oh, scrambling defence. He had to score, Paul Harrigan. You can see the despair on his face and the pat on the back for Willie Kahn. And it was Julian O'Neill who came across with the vital touch at the end. Well, he's put his body on the line, Willie Kahn. Play now is about 25 metres out from the Queensland line. We're playing in front of a crowd of, well, I suppose 90,000. It's just an incredible atmosphere here. About 90,000 Australian rugby league record crowd. Langer put down by Mackay, but not before he got it back for Willie Kahn to grab some more, some more metres and take the play into Blues territory by that much, a couple of metres. Then it's away from Kerrod Walders, on to Gilmeister. Oh, Larson. And Gary obviously wasn't looking at what was going on. And another very ordinary mistake made by the Queenslanders. That would be half-time, the siren goes. Queensland finished with the mistake. They created plenty of them in the first half, that's why they're trailing by eight points. There's a bit of uh, yardage to be gained, uh, just... Close to the play the ball area as Daly now works an angle for McGregor. He got a pass away very well. Harrigan for a big man did equally as well. Then Dean Pay picks up the dregs and he plays it 40 metres out from the line. A little bit of disorganisation here amongst the Blues as Brad Fettler steps. Andrew Eddinghausen kicks. Now the chase is on and Kerrod Walters comes down with it. It was very noticeable towards the end of that first half that Brad Fittler was coming in and playing first receiver much more often. I think that's what he needs to do. Australian record crowd was just over 78,000, and that was, of course, for the St George South Grand Final in 65. So this has more than beaten that. It's, it's absolutely smashed it. There's a punch-up in back play. Fittler offloads. Bradley Clyde is put away by Mal Meninga. And now... Andrew G is engaging there with Paul Harrigan. There's two of the more aggressive customers out there. Andrew G plays very physically. Paul Harrigan, he's the one that I wouldn't be picking. You see here that Harrigan, he throws the first little one, two. G answers in kind, throws the first punch. Interesting to see which way this one goes. Penalty goes to the blue. <laughs> well. You didn't see the replay, Graham Annesley. Now, Andrew G is trying to get away from Mark here. If Harrigan doesn't grab him, there's, nothing's going to happen. Should have gone the other way for mine. Brasher, right in front, 29 out. There she goes, and it's a goal! Well, they attempted to run the football, but good sliding defence from New South Wales. Brad Clyde goes through. We've seen, I think it's Elias that's been flattened in back play. Oh... Missing him. Very close to the line. Kerrod Walters again. Long ball for Langer. Equally so for Kevin Walters. Then Darren Smith. Now Gary Larson. O'Neill channels back in field. And O'Neill not held. Now he's almost over the line. Oh, come on, Queensland. Desperate stuff. O'Neill struggles to his feet. Darren Smith gets it away. Kevin Walters puts the kick in. 
It came off a Blues player, but he didn't play at the ball. Well, that's just great scrambling defence. 85,513. It's an Australian record crowd. Time running out. 16 minutes to go in the game. Mark Hone's pass goes to ground. Brasher comes away. Brasher slices through. Brasher's to the 40-metre line. Queensland desperately getting back into possession. Fittler. Wrapped up by Langer and Larson. Well, I know it broke down for Queensland there, but Jim Mark Hone is an improved player. Really times his run. Big defence from Darren Smith there. Puts Lazarus on his backside. Harrigan oh. taken around the top. High shot. Karen Walters. He'll be called out. He's got a very high shoulder. That's Paul Harrigan. Larson, Darren Smith and Gordon Tallis. And now it's with Stewart. He shows it to Fittler. Tries to do it himself. There's a try. McGregor. Paul McGregor. Ricky Stewart. Magic. Ricky Stewart magic. McGregor gets the try. 69 gone. 14 nil the Blues. Yeah, Ricky Stewart ran the football and that was the important thing. But also a lot of bodies in motion. And you'll see the gap opens up on the outside because the Queensland players have put it sixes and sevens. Here's Ricky Stewart going across now. We freeze play there. You see the fact that he's going across. Here's McGregor coming back on the inside. That's put pressure on the Queensland defence's play. Continues on and will freeze it again now. You see that player, the Queensland player, has gone in to make the tackle. Queensland a little bit tired in defence over here. No cover defence coming across on the inside. A big gap there for Paul McGregor to go through. It wasn't there when he attempted his first of three successful kicks. And that's wiped the smile from his face. 14 nil. New South Wales. Kerrod Wallace. Langer. Langer driving it. Down inside the New South Wales 20 metre point for Andrew Eddinghausen. A long run back for him to recapture. And here comes Eddinghausen. Brilliant run by him. He served notice here tonight that he doesn't like being put on the bench. As was the case in State of Origin 1 through Daly to Fitler. Meninga chases. Nagus is with the ball and Nagus is over the sideline. Kerrod Walters off for Langer. Langer. A through to Moore and then Meninga and now O'Neill and this is Hancock and Hancock again. They're denied a try. Brasher's performance has been great. Not an easy task to take Michael Hancock front on. Four metres out from your own line, Jim Brasher. He's been outstanding defensively tonight and run the football back as Lazarus drops the ball, gives Queensland a chance. Larson ankle tap, had support, should have thrown. Larson then, Still eight metres away from the line. It's out with Langer, and then put down by Adrian Valves. Ben Elias, across for Lazarus. Lazarus then for Sirenen. Sirenen back for Elias, pretty scrappy. Then Stewart, now Barnhill. Now Stewart. Stewart is engaging with Darren Fritz in the back play. I don't know what happened here, but Stewart, he's about five foot six, five foot seven. He's chased Darren Fritz, who's six foot five to get a shot on him. Well, it's not the only one going on. Ben Elias again involved in one. Ricky Stewart, ex-teammate of Darren Fritz. They both played for Canberra. Kerrod Walters, a bullet-like pass for Langer. Back for Khan. Khan is taken. Harrigan got him around the legs. Surinam came over the top with Brasher. Kerrod Walters finds Alan Langer. Queensland looking to puncture the defence. Meninga picks it up, but a knock-on has been ruled. Serenin. Serenin. Barnhill was there looking for the pass. Seconds in the match remaining. The crowd counts it out. 85,500 of them. An Australian record rugby league crowd at the, at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. 14-0. To the Blues, Lazarus and McGregor the tries, Brescia the extras, Lazarus got across at the ninth minute, McGregor at the 69th. See the New South Wales celebrating, the only I suppose disappointing thing of the night was Chris Johns was the only player out of the 34 who didn't get a run but his chance will come.